Hey folks, time to so um hi, it's me. After three months, I'm back. Um, finally, uh, I finished my Hobbit house for cats. One thing, it took me many months because most the main reason is I was slacking, so I'm sorry for that. So you will see uh, different clips from different <laughs> times of the year. Uh, I think I started making this in spring somewhere and that's why you will see me during the full summer full summer heat and colder days and now it's finally done I finished it before um, before the new in the new year but it took me some time some time to edit the video and I also had few troubles so that's why uh, yeah I couldn't upload it before so yeah now here it is um, it's a bit longer uh, because I I, I was also talking about stuff and it's all it's yeah it's uh, I couldn't fit um, all the clips into shorter videos so it, it's 30 minutes or something if you um, can't watch all <laughs> just fast forward to the end and you'll see the end result and some pictures uh, in the end with cats posing but yeah uh, throughout the video uh, there are cats helping me which is great so yeah I do hope you like it and um, I'm trying not to um, not to slack hard for the next projects. I have few paintings waiting to be finished. Um, yeah, as soon as the holidays are over, I'm going to try to do some stuff. So enjoy the video and I'll see you soon. And so it begins. Here is my box and Batman is already sleeping inside cardboard box because you know cats they really like cardboard boxes. And my first desire was to create Hogwarts. Uh, you can see here I did a sketch and cut pieces of it and then it just stood in my uh, living room waiting forever until I decided hey this is not going to be easy and I'm not really a massive fan of Harry Potter sorry Martin so I have decided to switch and make something else the window here uh, this black piece is from board game called Citadels and that's when I decided, hey, I'm going to have a massive window for my Hobbit house, yeah! So yeah, I have decided to uh, create a Hobbit house because I really love uh, Tolkien's work and I really like Hobbiton and the Shire and everything. The nature, the respect they have towards home, family. So yeah, uh, plus... Um, it was yeah easy easier to create than the Hogwarts because yeah it's crystal clear you don't have so many pieces that you you would have for the you know creating a castle so I have no idea what I'm doing here probably thinking I'm a giant or something I wanted to see how I look from the from the inside of the house and yeah, so the, this is the this is the recipe I've seen from uh, Creative Mom. So yeah, as I said, I've seen this from uh, Creative Mom's YouTube channel, and this is a recipe to make uh, so-called um, paper clay. Let's let's call it that way. Um, 
I'm using egg containers here and I boiled water as you can see poured over the, the thing and then I'm just uh, removing pieces of the cardboard and adding a glue. Uh, I must say I kind of added a bit uh, much, uh, lots of glue and this glue is for wood and paper and it's kind of smelly. So here I'm just creating the mass and this is where I started to add the, the pieces of this so-called clay over the rooftop because this is cheaper than the clay I will be using after, the one that you buy. So yeah, this was a fun process. It took a lot to dry because of, um, like I said, I added a lot of glue and it was stinky. So it was sitting outside for a long period of time and luckily in the end it dried out. Now the fun part, starting to add um, bricks, the walls on the house. And also do forgive me if you hear sparrows behind me because I have a sparrow nest right on my balcony. So the little guy is always yelling because somebody is close to his nest. And yeah, now I'm just making bricks. Uh, I'm gonna make bricks on all over this uh, side, around the window and everything. And yeah. I'll shut up now. So yeah, this is the wall, I think it looks really cool. And this is the other side of the wall and Batman. She's patient, waiting for her new home. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm showing here. Now to make the front part, or no, the back part. So for the back, I have decided to make like a wooden, uh, wooden structure because this side of the <clears throat> of the house is gonna be turned to uh, towards my wall, so it's not gonna be visible all the time. So I figured, hey, let's use something that I have so I can save on the clay. And um, I just glue these small pieces of cardboard um, and then I'm going to paint them to look like it's uh, wood. See this? What makes me happy to see her when she sleeps inside because I know she likes him. Usually cats kind of ignore the things you make for them, but since this is cardboard, I figured she's gonna love it. I know Simba would have loved it, like, but he probably would eat a piece of it. And now I'm adding the bricks around the door. As you all know, if you're familiar with Hobbit houses, they have bricks around doors and windows.
And now the last part is to add the simple walls, the white color, just white color, which I'll probably paint into yellow or something. In the background, uh, you can see Emma, Simba and Kira, they had three kittens and this is one of them. She stays with us every time her family travels. And she kind of looks like Simba, just more fluffier. And now the cat inspection. Emma needs to see if I'm doing everything correctly. And I think I am. And a bit of the crazy cat lady time. I can also blame the cats um, for delaying my work because they use this house a lot. But <clears throat> let's face it, it's me, the slacker. Yeah, but still, it's so cute to see them sleep inside under construction. Kitties. And now, finally, it's time to paint this thing. So as you can see here, I, I added some um, terracotta color uh, of the clay. This is uh, clay for elementary school uh, and it just dries out um, normally uh, outside. No baking, nothing is required. So this is really cool thing for kids projects and your own if you want so um, yeah uh, yeah also all everything here as you probably realized so far is so chaotic when I create stuff I do it in my living room I don't have a studio or anything so yeah, this is where I sit and play video games and do other things. So yeah, let's paint. Um, I think I said something now. Okay, so we need to fill in these um, gaps for the shading because uh, it will look better after we add uh, the highlights. <coughs> so now I'm just filling the bricks. Koala with a darker color. And then after I will uh, color it with the lighter one to have the, this uh, orangey orangey color palette for that but first we need to do the the dark part first and i will paint the brick section first because it's easier if i go from below to the top then i can cover the grass part uh, of the house on top of these bricks so so this is just going to be Technically, I'll do the same thing with the entire side and the other sides as well. And uh, yeah, I think I still need to do a few things on the top afterwards. Um, I still haven't finished the chimney. So 
but this is fine. Painting over uh, 3D things compared to when you paint on the paper is kind of fun because you already have um, terrain to work with. <coughs> so I'm um, using acrylic colors. Um, and uh, yeah, oops, I accidentally used a bit of the red. Let's just continue with the brown hmm. or the black. Oh man. So, this is the thing when you do certain things like this. This looks easy, but it's really time, consu time consuming because it just is when you do stuff manually. And I was slacking last for the past uh, one month because of my work. I need to figure out some some good uh, lights in the evening because at the moment I'm really dependent on the natural light from the outside, and since the winter is coming, it's going to be hard to get the light. And if I can speak honestly, I don't know if there are more of you like me out there, but man, I am a slacker a lot of times. Um, it's just sometimes I see myself as I'm lost in time and space. I like to create things, I also like to play video games and do other stuff. Sometimes I can even daydream and lose hours just daydreaming and then that's why this took me so long to finish. I can't even, now I can't even remember actually when I started making this house, but now when, when I'm editing the video and going through these um, clips, I see it's from like I was making this while it was still summer and now it's January so it's winter already and yeah I'm so sorry to say this but I am a slacker and I'm I'm always saying I'll do best better uh, in, you know I'll do better in the future blah 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 but in the end I again just end up slacking and especially now when um, classic World of Warcraft game so then again I lost my time playing the video games and now I'm also doing the playing the Witcher uh, man I need to organize like I said many times uh, or maybe or maybe I, I will just accept that I'm lost in time and space and yeah embrace the chaos and that's how it is so um yeah so now as you can see i'm just adding some red orange and yellow uh, tones for the brick part i'm just coloring the walls uh and yeah this is really not so hard because as i said before you have a terrain you just follow it and yeah, just play with color, add stuff you like. If you, even if you make a mistake, you can just go over with black or brown and redo the thing. So yeah. Mm. I don't know if if I should um, shut up, but for some reason, I kind of feel like talking. Um, yeah, just wanted to share um, an update. Uh, you've seen Emma uh, in previous clip when I was um, uh, s saying that she stays with us when her family travels. Well, the thing is, her family moved and now they live in Amsterdam uh, in the Netherlands. And uh, she also uh, went there. So she's a Dutch cat now and 
I mean, I'm really happy for them, but yet at the same time, I'm kind of sad because they moved far away, and um, I'm not sure if she and Batman will ever see each other and play. And here is she. Uh, of course, she has to sit inside the house and, you know, look what I'm doing. She kind of, I must say, she she kind of really loved 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 this house. So yeah, um, so yeah. Now she's a Dutch lady, uh, and I I traveled with her uh, because she had to stay with us uh, until her papers were ready. And guys, flying with a cat. Even th luckily she was with me uh, in a carrier. But oh man, this was one of the most stressful flights I ever had in my life because. J flight itself was crazy enough and then the fact that you know I was afraid of how she's going to react because of course she's going to be terrified for any animal especially for cats who don't like traveling but luckily she survived everything and now she's in her new um, apartment uh, together with her family again so I went there to visit them and I must say I'm really uh, I like the Netherlands, the country, Amsterdam especially, it's really romantic and magical. And of course Batman, she always has to sniff everything. And my white beauty who looks like her dad. I remember when Kira and Simba, when they were expecting kittens, I was hoping some of them will end up maybe black or half black, half white. But in the end, all three kittens ended up being white. Yeah, so. And Emma, in the end, ended up being the, the fluffiest one. And, and the fattest. Here's the fatty. <laughs> you can see like how much space she takes inside. And then there is tiny Batman. At this point, Emma was six kilos and Batman was three kilos. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, a huge difference. This was a fun thing. Every time I um, I did something with this house, they would end up, you know, inside or just looking, hey, let me see what you're doing there, human. We need to, you know, inspect everything and make sure you do it. A good job. And here I'm just trying to move her uh, paws so she doesn't get any color on, on them. And oh man, what a mistake to make up <laughs> when the cat grabs you. But luckily she never scratched anybody. And yeah, hardcore Emma, she doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't want to put her uh, paws inside. So yeah, I guess she wins. And now coloring the, the roof, or should I say grass, and again Emma is here to help me out. So yeah, this is just now adding different colors to add some uh, depth, uh, you know, and make it uh, look more interesting and trying to look as, as um, naturally as possible. 
I was also thinking maybe um, later on um, to see first of all how it holds and uh, because the, sometimes cats like to sit on top of the house, not on, only inside. So I was thinking to add some flowers on top, but I'm still contemplating because if they sit, they may break them. And you know, maybe there's no need to do so much detail, so many details on, on top. And here I'm trying to tell her so not to go on top because of the, of the color and luckily she went inside of course to make it harder to turn but that's okay said Emma at this point is in Amsterdam and we have a new cat staying with us this is a cat my colleague found in the street she's around one year old and completely blind so I took her in um, until we find her home but I'm kind of losing hope that anybody will adopt her because of her handicap even though she is completely normal uh, you know because she can rely, rely on her uh, hearing and everything and she's really sweet and playful kitten but yeah she is blind so but hopefully uh, I mean she the, the good thing is she won't end up uh, on the street so she will be safe, we'll figure something out. And uh, here I'm coloring my tree. Uh, the thing I, I, uh, I did here, I used some foil and hot glue. Uh, so I was doing layer of uh, hot glue and then color to see where I have spots um, missing. And then I add more hot glue and then do the color. And in the end, I just colored it, you know, brownish to to look like a tree and at this point since it's uh, winter I'm not going to add any leaves or anything um, you will see in the end um, I added um, I added some of my decorations um, you know I decorated it as a Christmas <laughs> Christmas tree And now I realized I didn't film um, painting of the front side in yellow, but I mean it's nothing too complicated, just took a yellowish color, a bit of white and yeah. If you decide to make this you can do whatever you want. And it's inside I put this paper because you know cats love to sleep on something that's creating this sound so uh, yeah so now more or less uh, this is a complete house I can always add more things but yeah now this is fully functional cat hobbit home and this is my tree and the door I'll need to fix the door because now it's not that stable <clears throat> but I mean uh, it's not like it's going to uh, be on all the time because I keep it um, away so that cat, cats can go inside and outside freely and here is the, the kitten temporary name is Illidan since both are ladies but they have male names this is Batman so yeah and 
Now let me show you. There's a bit of uh, of uh, normal uh, roof, not just the grass, because this was supposed to be um, a river for Hogwarts, <laughs> and then ended up yeah having the roof part. And yeah, let's demonstrate. You see, that's what I need to fix because now it kind of falls uh, out easily. Yeah, bye. I'll show you some pictures now. And this is my first sketch. This is Hogwarts. And I'm pretty sure it would be impossible to make it out of these materials. So yeah, I'm just going to add a few photos now um, of the process. Um, yeah, of the beauties chilling in the house. Even the, even Illidan, she also had to check it out. So yeah, I must say now for sure, uh, this was a success. Cats love their new house. As you <laughs> as you can see and <clears throat> now let's unleash uh, the full crazy cat lady mode yep I know but I, I had to I just had to decorate this since it's it's winter and Christmas time so I had to do a um, few photos <laughs> with this setup. Yeah, this is the tree I, I told you about. Uh, the decoration. So yeah. Uh, yeah. The crazy cat lady is signing out now. I I hope you enjoyed this. And if anybody decides to create something like this, uh, share it with me uh, on Instagram or here. I'd love to see it. Okay, guys. Bye. Happy New Year. See ya.